Greetings, scribblers. Kent Sean here. Writing a novel is a marathon, not a sprint. It's easy to lose our focus and determination along the way. Today, I'm going to share with you how I planned out the first draft of my current work in progress, an action science fiction novel called Charged. I'll also share some tricks I use to keep from falling behind along the way. If you haven't done it already, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one throbbing episode of Writing Tumescence. How many times have you heard people say, I started a novel, but I never finished it? How many of those people are you? Sick ball! Part of the problem is writing a novel is a gigantic job that can take from months to years. When embarking on that long journey with no clear idea when we'll hold our book in our hands, it's easy to put off getting the job done or worse, give up completely. By doing a little planning and tracking our progress, we can give ourselves important little bumps of encouragement along the way. Here's how I set myself up for success to track progress on the first draft of my novel, Charged. The first step, figure out how long your novel's gonna be. Guess what, I've got a blog and a video that can help you do that. Link in the description. So I'm not gonna get into a long explanation of genre and industry expectations for book lengths here. Since my reality genre is science fiction, the word count is a little longer than you would generally expect for other genres. This is mostly due to the necessity of world building. The recommended word count range for science fiction is between 50,000 to 150,000 words. That's quite a range. Most of those 150k whoppers are from well-established and experienced authors, so readers and publishers are willing to take a chance on them. What that means is that the upper end of that word count range is a little too much for my debut novel. Since most literary agents won't even read a manuscript over 120,000 words, I set my upper limit at about 120k, with a goal of a finished manuscript coming in around 100,000. Word. Next, I set my deadline. Now, some people say you should set a daily word count and then base your deadline off that. But I have learned a valuable lesson writing the last five novels. Life gets in the way of daily word counts. So I thought I'd track things a little differently this time. I set a deadline for my first draft for May 1st, 2020. This is about as slow as I would ever want to write the first draft. I really don't like messing around with these things since you end up throwing away about 80% of what you write anyway. By the way, scribblers, if you're not throwing away most of what you write in a first draft, smack yourself. There is almost no way you got the story straight, nailed the pacing, and wrote 60 perfect scenes the first time around. In fact, it's kind of greedy to even expect that could happen. Michael Crichton says, writing is rewriting. Scribblers, make peace with it now. One caveat here, when I started the drafting process in December, I had already completed an outline and knew all the major story points and characters. Though I do tend to pants my way through scenes and let changes to the story happen organically as I write, I have a pretty good idea where I'm going to end up. Without a plan, I'll probably do a lot of wandering that makes it almost impossible to finish on time. In my video, 10 Tips to Finish Your First Draft, Link in the description. I explain why I think everyone should come up with at least a rough outline telling them how their story should go. Otherwise, you end up in a George R.R. R. Martin type of situation where we're all pretty sure he's going to drop dead before he finishes A Song of Ice and Fire. Okay, I have my word count, I have my deadline. A little quick calculation tells me how many words per day or week I need to finish my first draft by May 1st. For me, this came out to be about 700 words a day. A pretty easy pace for me to keep, even though I am a full-time college student, full-time dad, and full-time government employee. Now, for me, it's time to pull out Microsoft Excel. Now, there are a lot of other free software that do exactly the same thing as Excel, like OpenOffice.org, but I've used Excel at work for years, and I love it. First, I plugged in a formula to count down the days till my first draft is due. Then colored the cell red so I could think of blood and fire and almost have a heart attack every time I look at it. I really like to write every day, but I know that this is not always possible. If I record my progress via daily word count, I'm gonna end up with a lot of cells that read zero. Oh, nada. Those little zeros can be incredibly discouraging. The last thing I need is a little empty circle of failure staring at me every time I look to tell me I suck. It's not what I need when I'm writing a first draft. 
So I decided to track by week. That way, if I get a little behind, I can write more in other sessions to make up for it. So 700 words per day times seven days in a week equals numbers. 4,900 words per week. Science! Next, I programmed Excel to keep track by percentage, where I was for the week, month, and the overall draft. After each day's writing, I plug in the words completed and Excel does the rest, telling me how close I am to whichever deadline is coming next in my weekly, monthly, or overall draft goals. This way, I get to feel like I'm accomplishing something each week when I see myself hitting my numbers. So far, I'm ahead of schedule, which is nice because it gives me some wiggle room if life throws me a curveball. Dad, my science project is due tomorrow. Do you know how to build a proton accelerator out of tin foil? There are a lot of other ways to keep track of your productivity and plan your first draft, but this one's mine. Don't let Excel scare you. There are about a zillion free tutorials online that explain everything that I've shown here. Or go old school and just keep a writing journal. Or use an abacus. Who cares? But whatever you do, keep track. You will need to know where you are in the massive job of writing a novel. It'll keep you centered, focused, and hopefully somewhere within the same decade as your deadline. Thanks for watching, Scribblers. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or visit my website, kentshawn.com. Till next time. Butts in seats, fingers on keyboards.